Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you an intro to the scene module, how to use the game slash animation template, and how to create and add a sprite node to your screen. Let's get started. Here we are in Python Easter. I'm going to show you some features of the scene module. The first thing you need to do is swipe from the left towards the right and open up the left menu. Then press the plus button in the bottom left corner and you'll see the new menu. Scroll down a little bit and tap on game slash animation. That's the template we're going to be using. The next thing you need to do is type in the name of your code. I'm going to call this one basic sprite nodes and tap create. As you can see, it's given me a whole bunch of code already done. The top part is the imports and you need those for it to work. The next part is you've got all your methods here. The setup method runs when you tap into your app from the home screen or if you're in Python Easter, it runs when you press the play button. Any code that you write in the setup method only runs once. Code written underneath did change size happens when you change the orientation of your iPad from portrait to landscape or the other way. Anything that you write in the update method happens every single frame and by default Python needs to run its scenes at 60 frames a second. So whatever you put in there needs to be fairly short because it needs to run over and over and over again. Anything that you write in touch began happens as soon as you touch your finger to the screen and then you can see where the touch was and then you can act on it. Touch moved happens if you've already got a touch on the screen, a finger on the screen and you drag. Touch ended runs when you lift your finger from the screen. Next I want to show you how to create a sprite node and add it to the screen. We're going to do this code in setup. So get rid of the pass and we're going to name our sprite node snail. When you're creating a variable sometimes you'll need to put a self dot in front of it. All that means at this stage is that you're allowed to use that variable in any of your methods. So we could reference self dot snail within update or touch began or any of the methods in there. We're going to create a sprite node you need to make sure you're using capital S and capital N and that you need round brackets on the end. Next, tap the plus at the top left of the screen, the plus with the box around it. Here, you'll be able to see all of your assets that you're allowed to add. Uh, make sure you're on the images tab at the bottom and I'm going to add in a snail. As you can see, it's just written in the string that represents that image. The next thing we need to do is set its position. So I'm going to go self.snail.position and position needs an X and a Y for its coordinate. So I'm going to put it at 250 from the left and 200 from the bottom. The zero, zero point is in the bottom left in landscape mode, the width of the screen is 1,024 points wide and the height of the screen is 768 points. After I've added the position line, I need to do the last thing which is add child. When you run self.addChild, that means you're trying to add something to the scene. I'm going to put in the name of the snail in here, self.snail. When I hit play, it's going to put the snail on the screen. If you want to do a little bit more, you can have a go at modifying some of the other attributes of the snail by going self.snail. These are all of the things you can set on the snail object. If you want to know what they are, you can double tap on where it says sprite node and wait for this menu to pop up. When it does, tap on help dot 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 and then tap on scene.spritenode and it will give you a little bit of help and you can see all the attributes you can edit. 